SUNRAIL IS BACK ON TRACK TODAY, RUNNING SMOOTHLY. BUT NOW WITHOUT A PRICE TO PASSENGERS, TODAY IS THE FIRST DAY THAT THEY ARE PAYING TO RIDE. WEST SHE'S RICKY Klaus EXPLAINS HOW THEY'RE HANDLING THE PAYING CUSTOMERS. It's the very first day passengers are paying to ride SunRail. At the Lake Mary station, there were reports that there were about the same number of people as usual headed into work on the train. But in Longwood and Maitland, people who work at those stations said they actually saw a boost in the number of riders. We talked to a few who said they don't mind paying. Didn't really like all of the uh, free riders. Uh, in the afternoon because it did have some delays, but you know what? I bet you the New York subway didn't start and it didn't have any uh, issues. So I'm looking forward to it. Anything to get away from I-4. But I have no, it's a great, great idea. We should have had the 20 years ago, but it is just a great idea for everybody. SunRail is aware of a few glitches in the ticketing system. We witnessed one man have trouble with his Sun card. It wouldn't scan, and the conductor asked him to get on board and just said he should call customer service later. Now, SunRail is advising people to arrive early to the train stations to get their tickets because they say there may be lines. Reporting in Longwood, Ricky Klaus, West 2 News.